So it's FM21, and how much have you struggled to play free at the back? Got an answer for you. <laughs> That's right, we're back, and this is going to be the last ever Tactics Test Tuesday for FM21. Probably going to drop a Tuesday from 22 because it then stops me doing tactics any other day. But yes, we're here today, and we've got it's like a 3 5 2, 3 4 3. Let's get to the tactic. Here it is, it's made by my friend Scooter on Twitter. You'll find the link to his stuff below. He streams, he does a lot of the Super Cup stuff, Jeremy, I've been on his, his Scoot TV as well, so he, he created this, I saw it on social, he was having success, I thought, right, let's get this tested, let's get it on Tactics Test Tuesday and see how it really does. So this is the formation, yeah, it's a 3-4-1-2, 3-4-3, 3-5-2, what you want to call it, here are the positions. We've got a sweeper keeper on defend, center back on defend, ball playing defender on cover, then the other center back on defend as well. We have a wide midfielder with no instructions, box to box midfielder, deep line playmaker, another wide midfielder. We've got the shadow striker, deep line forward, and the advance forward on the left. Now, I assume, by the way, he's got it set up, but there's no major instructions. You could probably switch those two around for your left foot or your right foot if, if you want that kind of thing. We're playing on a positive mentality, which seems to be the go-to in FM21, I think. I watched Clayt's video on his 442, which I'll put a link to as well. He said he really, really thinks attacking is the way to go. I think positive. I think some of the best tactics I've had have had positive. In possession, we're playing wide. We're passing into space. Got standard directness, so we're not messing around with your, your tiki taka, even though he's called it a scooty taka. Uh, but that shows you with a slow tempo. So, although we're going standard, we're not just launching it around. We're going to take the time, play with a bit of patience, uh, and also working the ball into the box of mixed crosses. In transition, we're counter pressing and countering. And then out of possession, we're using higher lines on both, standard defensive width more urgent pressing and nothing else is ticked. I've had a look through and there's none of the set pieces set up so there's nothing special on there. What I will say is I'll drop another link below to my set pieces, get them loaded in, near post, nothing special. Uh, got them for defending as well and see if you have any joy with them. Uh, I've got a little two routines, one with it where someone comes short but you still play it near post, seems to, to do the trick so get them loaded in as well. So for the test, as usual, we'll do Paris Saint-Germain so we can sort of measure it against the others. Probably do a final table on that as well, put it on social so you can see. In Portugal, we're going with Braga and Moriense. Uh, in Russia, we've got CSK Moscow and Tambov. And in Spain, we're going for Real Sociedad and Alaves. So same as always, going to run through the season, show you some goals, we'll come back, we'll talk about it, and I'll show you the results.
you enjoyed those highlights of the tactic. We will start in France with Paris Saint-Germain, champions, 15 points clear, 103 goals, only 23 conceded is superb. Uh, lost four games against Etienne, Lyon, Montpellier, Marseille, three of them away. I, I don't think you can really argue with that. In the league ratings, Mbappe top on 27 goals. Neymar 7.62, I'm not surprised in that DLF role. Eight player of the matches, didn't get in the assist though, all the goals. So what was he doing? Oh, we'll get to we'll get to them. Kaylor Navas, 23 clean sheets. There we go, Mbappe with 38 league goals. Neymar, 23 and 5 assists. Icardi, 22 and 10. Let's see where Neymar. Uh, shout out to Mark, Mark Hansen on YouTube who let me know about i looked at the form before, but I, I totally forgot you could actually see where they're playing. So if we look down, you've got the last 20 games, you can see where they're playing. And, I mean, Neymar's playing wide midfielder left, deep line forward, a shadow striker, advanced forward. He is playing everywhere. Shows you how good he is. Look at those, like, three goals there, one, two, one, assists. Got that versatility to play all over the pitch. Rafinha, 16-2. Where was Rafinha playing? I'm guessing he was the SS. Yep. Also playing deep line playmaker. Got De Maria, 5-15. and 15, Playing both the left and the right. Better on the left. With the left foot. Makes sense. Deputising on the right. Team report, 141 goals. And only 38 conceded in all competitions. 19 shots per game is really good. 2.71 goals per game. It's above the expected. And the goals conceded in the point sixes. That's an excellent season from Paris Saint-Germain. Now, if you look on the top right there, there are a few little gaps missing there. So that means that Braga, Braga sacked us, the Russian lower team sacked us, and so did Alaves. Now, I wanted to look at and show you, first of all, Braga and Morienz, 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 sorry. So they were predicted ninth, Braga were predicted fourth. And if we go to the competitions, it was our boys, Morienz, who finished fourth and Braga in ninth. That's why you got sacked. So first of all, let's look and see when we got sacked. Because it could be, oh, it was January. Yep, it was January. So let's look at the run. Yeah, like it was, I mean, it wasn't awful. It wasn't good, and they got a better, a decent finish. So let's concentrate on uh, Moriense. Portuguese Cup fourth round. Yeah, fourth in the league. Got Europe, Europa League football. That's wonderful. Did we do anything in there? Andre Luiz, 22 goals. Led the league. Superb. Rafael Martins, he looked... He was having a great time as a DLF as well. Martins and Alex Suarez, 12 assists each. And your goalkeeper for living clean sheets. So that means defensively, pretty decent too. I mean, they did concede 58, which is pretty high, but scored a decent amount. Second top in the league in Portugal. More than Porto, more than Sporting, more than Sporting from a team predicted to be just like fodder down the like that's that's really good squad wise who did well so we got Andre Louise Pedro Nuno Rafael Martins 13 and 12 that sounds is that a DLF deep line forward really 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 goodness I think that the, the shadow striker really helps get the best out of the, the DLF here it just creates that little bit of trouble in the back line uh, 79 goals uh, conceded is bad maybe there's bad defence when you're playing free at the back at this, you need guys. The three guys at the back need to be mobile. They need to be good anticipation. You need that. Like PSG obviously have that. You wouldn't expect a team lower, lower to mid Portuguese Premier to have that. 13.88 shots is good. 2.21 goals per game is really good. Conceded to have like nearly triple what PSG's was. You need to have a look at that. That would be with this team... You've got that Europa League money, get some defenders in, and then you're gonna you can probably challenge. Pre-season predictions in Russia were for Tambov to finish 16th bottom in the Russian Premier League. Uh by some way, like 2000 to 1, you can just see there above my head. 
CSK to finish third. I think they were fourth or fifth when we took them over. So that I don't know why it changes when you've not signed anyone. Who knows? And there we have it. CSK Moscow finished second. They are seven points behind Spartak, who weren't predicted top either. Uh, but they've done really well. Put Tambov, they're only, oh, I mean, it's by 20 goals, but 23 points, 24, they're like a win away. Is that us or did the sack is way early? Left on the 16th of May. We got to the end. Yeah, they, we got to the end with Tambov. Oh, uh, what was the finish? This would be heartbreaking. I mean, there's a lot of red. They lost their last three games. So, although it's not a success with Tambov, they were two points away from safety in the lost three games at the end. Now, if you're in control, can you pick up those extra points? Like a 1-0 at home, 4-2 you've scored. But that, that run there from December to March is dreadful. All it takes is a little something. There, you are the worst team in Russia, but still, ah, oh, Tambov, nearly so close. Uh, Nikola Vlasic, top scorer in the league, was sixteen. Ivan Oblyakov, twelve assists, excellent. Where was he playing? Let's have a look. Play midfielder, deep line playmaker, deep line playmaker. Oh, yeah, that's that's really good from there. Pinging those passes into the the, the front three. Uh, Shalov, five player of the matches, Akinfi, 13 clean sheets. Pretty solid across the board from CSK. Vlasic, 23, Shalov, 19 and 15. Whoa, he's had a season, isn't he? Four my deep line forward, deep line forward. Ah, oh, deep line forward in this tactic. You can get someone with, let's look at Shalov. Like his passing's not even great. Uh, he's, his, his mentals are really good. His physicals are really good. Oh, someone with a bit of vision, a bit of dribbling, they're going to absolutely smash it in this tactic. Really good from Shalov. Uh, Salomon Rondon, 14 and 6. Fernandez, 7 and 10. Oblakov from deep line playmaker, 16. Maybe he's on the free kicks or the corners. That's impressive. 102 goals scored is excellent. 61 conceded is not. Team report. 14.5 shots, brilliant. 2.4 goals is excellent. The goals conceded just around one. It's not bad at all. Really not bad at all. We finish up in Spain. Alaves were predicted 18th, like but kind of fighting for survival. Sociedad predicted fifth. And there we have it. Alaves went down again. Oh, they're two points from safety. I think they sacked us. No, they let, us, they let us go to the end. 23rd of May. Oh, that run. Let's look at the, the positions before we get to Sociedad. Past positions. It started like fairly well and then just that run. Uh, now, I think if you're controlling Alaves, you survive. Games to go. I just think you would tweak things. You would see like you, if you're one nil up you'd slow it down you'd waste time shame so so sad though fourth brilliant defensively it hasn't been good like 59 conceded is not good puts us there you remember the relegation teams you're miles away from the top boys but goal scored only one goal less than barcelona this has got potential. It, like, you've got a really good front line in Sos Dad. Alexander Isak is superb. Uh, the other guys who I can't I won't even try and say their names, like Mikel Ar Uh He is a top scorer in the league with 29 goals. That feels like cheat code. Advance forward, advance forward. He's your advance forward. Pretty sure he can play as a shadow striker as well. He can play in there. He can play anywhere there. That's a tremendous result for Sociedad. Uh, 34 goals, 9 assists. Isak, 19-7. Carlos Fernandez used a couple of goals and he scored 4 in the last day of the season. 13-5. and five. Uh, Assists across the board from David Silva. Worked really well with, with this team. 
Uh, maybe just defensively again, if you've not got three, you need five good centre backs. 99 total goals is good, 79 conceded is not. And then 2.18 goals per game, way over your expected. The expected against is bad, 13 shots per game is good. It's definitely got potential. That does it for the very last tactics test Tuesday. What do you think of this 3 4 1 2? I think going forward is really, really good. You've seen the numbers there, some really amazing performances, especially from the DLFs, which is interesting. I like point a DLF. Maybe the Shadow Striker is the way to go behind them. A lot of things you can do to this to tweak it. Let us know what you would do. Let us know what you would change. Try it. Let us know how you get on. Let Scooter know. It's socials below here. This will do us for FM21 in terms of tactics. We're going to have a little bit of a break. We're going to finish the hexagonal. Please keep watching that if you're not. Please subscribe, link to the channel, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching so much during FM21. We're back bigger, better, bolder, tactic here. Thanks for watching. From me, Andrew, all the best. Bye.